My name is Michael. And last night, in my dream, I fell in love. Fuck. I was just falling in love in my dreams. I wasn't lying, I'd just fallen in love in my dreams. See, I'd created an entirely fictional person, fallen for that person, and then woken up heartbroken because, of course, that person didn't exist. I couldn't offer you a complete narrative, just small details, fragments, snatches, the colour of her hair, brown, the way her hand felt when she put it on my hand, nice. Her personality, good. And we all know that it's the small details that hurt the most. An hour later, I still couldn't shake this girl. I was just sat in the bath, running it over in my head. And then I remembered. She didn't love me back. She didn't love me back. See, my dreams are normally good to me. In my dreams, I don't have to wear these glasses. My eyesight's perfect. In my dreams, I've got a full head of hair, or if not, there's an array of hats nearby. In my dreams, my beard's better. I mean, my beard's okay now, but in my dreams, it's just, it's just better. So why did my dreams let me down now? The worst thing is, my sleeping brain is capable of traversing all of time and space. We could have been a king and queen throughout any part of history. We could have lived on another planet, or we could have explored any imaginable part of the world. I could have been a god to her. But my subconscious, in all the glory of its boundless potential, just settled on imagining a girl that didn't fancy me back. That's the best my brain could do with limitless possibilities. A fantasy dream girl who wasn't even interested. There's a, there's a Smiths song called Last Night I Dreamt That Somebody Loved Me. Which means that even in Morris's dreams, the person loves him back. Morris is fucking miserable. But not for me. I'm even rejected in my dreams. She said I was too self-indulgent.